Hey guys, what's up? I'm Charles and you are watching Inform Overload. Now, let's get into the video. Five people have been arrested in Egypt after creating a fake video that demonstrated the horrors of living in war-torn Aleppo. The group, who were based in Port Said, Egypt, created content that purported to show the wreckage of airstrikes in the city of Aleppo and intended to distribute it on social media to show fake scenes of the injured and destruction that has taken place in the city. The videographer, his assistants and the parents of two children who would appear in the footage all amongst the detained. After four years of intense battling, the Syrian city has fallen out of rebel hands and back under government control. In the process, many, many lives have been lost, both those involved in the conflict directly and civilians who have nowhere else to go. That includes the elderly and children. Various images have appeared on the internet of children caught in crossfire, affected by bombings, or displaced and left parentless. And I guess the group just wanted to bring even more light to the situation. The footage shows a young girl wearing a white dress with bandages over her wrist, covered in bloodstains whilst holding a teddy bear. A paper bag was placed over her head, I assume for reasons of anonymity. The footage also shows a 12 year old boy being interviewed over what his life is like under the intensive Russian backed Syrian government airstrikes. The authorities were first suspicious when a police officer drove by and noticed a girl wearing a white dress with red paint all over it. The actual site of the video was an Egyptian building site awaiting demolition. Whilst it is good in my opinion that people are trying to do more to bring attention to what is happening in Aleppo, it's also important that only real information is released to the public, as fake information like this only serves to confuse the public and creates less trust between the media and its consumers, which in turn only strengthens those who are trying to hide it. It's sad that in this day and age, atrocities such as this are still occurring. We can only hope that a peaceful resolution can be found soon and unnecessary deaths and displacement cease to occur. What do you guys think of this situation? Were the authorities correct to arrest the crew for what they were doing, or should they have been allowed to continue? as in a way they were only trying to help. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in for the next video and I'll see you then. Peace.